Lucas Herbert with one win on the European Tour. That was in Dubai in the playoff with Christian Besaidenhout. Three word for Lucas. Never shies away from the gold plate. Beautiful tee shot. It's a big hitter. Lucas Herbert. He doesn't leave much behind, does he? Nicely positioned. You can see the bottom of the flag stick. Only about five or six yards to work with over the front fringe. Wind in his face, a little bit from the left as well, gusting almost a club and a half. That's the best we've seen here from Jay Townsend. The wind is swirling. That's why we've seen a few guys over the green. They obviously can't feel it underneath hurts under those trees. So good shot. This is really makeable, just outside left edge. Greens are running really nicely. Get started on line. It won't bump offline. No, it certainly didn't bump offline. It's just started it too far left there. Par to start for Herbert and Sullivan. Yeah, Lucas Herbert starting the next kind of phase of his career. He's uh, essentially building a base in. It's not a super hard wind at this time, but it's a heavy wind. It's very humid out here right now. I like the iron. Get it chasing up the fairway for Herbert. I think if he's long enough, which he is, it takes a lot of pressure on, pressure off, not not blocking yourself out down the left. That really didn't get a bounce, but I, I like that. Good tee shot, as Anthony said, iron off the tee, which was a good play. Breeze off the right-hand side, and the pin tight on that right, next to that bunker. Oh, <laughs> just pulled it very slightly, but wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> it wasn't too bad, bad at all. That's a great shot. This should be a sure tap in for birdie three for Lucas. To extend his lead. Didn't muck about getting right in there. And his lead is now three shots to the Victorian. A little closer is Lucas Herbert in the rough. 213. Much better angle, but no real control on the first bounce. So this is quite difficult. And he's made that look pretty easy. As Radar says, blowing as hard as it has all week. This is a very exposed part of the golf course for this wind direction. So the wind is pushing Lucas's ball from the left should be a dead straight putt but I wouldn't be surprised at the very end if it's losing pace to fall a little left or right that won't have the gold star next to it but a mere formality to knock it in for the birdie nonetheless so second of the day the lead is now three to Lucas Herbert He has about 250 over that little pot bunker that's 30 yards short of the green. And I think that's the key. If you can just get it over that kind of towards the right side, set up a little pitch shot. Unlikely to get to the green into the wind. Absolutely fantastic from Lucas Herbert. Absolutely, I heard the yardage to cover that amount of land into the breeze. Great chance to pick up two putts here, but this putt has quite a bit of swing from the right, and the wind is pushing it from right to left as well. Hard to get it out high enough to actually get it on line. No eagle, it'll be a birdie, though. That'll move him to 16 under par. His third birdie of the day, three under so far. Nicely done, three ahead of uh, Beerman from the United States, who was out in 32. He's currently on the 10th of par five at the moment. Holes only cut five on 172. This could be a big wedge. Really strong win off a slight downslope, downhill. Oh. Back with whatever club he chose. Hold 
Once again, this is a good lie, but can he spin it? Can he get the club underneath it or will the club bounce in? Green is going away and left to right. Wind coming left to right. Oh, that was a much better execution that time. It just still releases out. Yeah, difficult shot that. It's another one for Herbert. Two of the last three holes. He's motoring forward. All of the challenges thrown his way, although they've been few and far between, really. Out there today, that is his fourth birdie of the round, and he extends his lead at the top to three at the Dubai <laughs> Duty Free Irish Open. Playing from the lower tee, they move the tee 23 yards forward due to the extremely difficult nature of this whole location, just up on a little step over the bunker. Wind helping off the left. He loves this. Misjudge right at it. Yeah, half a club too much. Big bounce. This is a line that was a full eight iron out of the rough to a green to be okay, but for a little touch shot like this one, this is a wicked lie. Really dense grass, ball sitting down. Yeah, I looked at that bit of rough actually when I walked around the other day. It was really thick. I thought they put the pin on the left. Long actually wrote my book, Long is a no no. This is only the second time all day Lucas Herbert has been tested. He made a nice par putt at the fourth after a so so chip shot. I wouldn't say that the one he had was a so so here. It was just a very difficult one. This is going to be a little right to left or has to start it outside right. Yeah, it was difficult. Really was a hard up and down. Also putting through the shadows as well. That never really helps. So tee shot to blame. Chip and putt really was always an outside chance. First bogey of the day, Ali. Yeah, first bogey since uh, I think it was the 14th yesterday. He hasn't made too many of them. Just want to play a little squeeze shot. He has the squeeze shot in him. 15 feet's a really good result here. Oh, up and down. Oh, it must have looked so good from back there. Hopefully that hasn't plugged. It's fine. It Is rolled it? back. It hit just underneath the lip where okay. it could have plugged, but rolled yeah. a good 15 feet back. From the bunker. This is a little left to righter here, coaxing it down the hill. It's not fast down the hill, but it is downhill. Started outside the hole on the left. Oh. Oh. So close. You took the words right out of my mouth. Shot. Two now in the last four holes for Lucas Herbert, both on par threes. 176 into the win. Probably 170 is his number, as I said a moment ago. You cannot go over the green. Coming out of that back bunker down win has bogey written all over it. Yeah, nice and aggressive. Eyes on the prize, Lucas Herbert. One of the best chances Lucas Herbert's had in about four holes. He got it in a good spot, putting uphill just a little bit of movement to this one. Line. Might be a frustrated miss there. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a slight misery. I think he had a good putt. Maybe just sliced it a fraction, but it was well struck. Oh, finish. Finish. When he gets out of shape, it goes right. That one's got lucky. Bit of trouble attached to it, I think. Yeah, well, no one was rushing to look for it, at least. Now, this is a tough shot for Lucas Herbert. Downhill lie, grassy lie. It's going to want to come out running. It'll be tough to control the distance. Keep me left. 
Yeah, well done. Little play just there. Might have to chip that. It just depends how it's sitting on the collar of that rough. But that's a good result. Not even going to throw it too far right to left before it reaches the green, but overall it has a right to left. The wind is really blowing hard. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Wind could affect this putt, putting into a left or right wind. Keep going, keep going. A bit of a lottery down the right side off the tee. But at least inside two feet for his par putt. Take a one shot lead into the final round. <laughs> 70. And it's going to afford him a one shot lead going into the final round tomorrow. It was a big lead at times but a testing back nine for the Australian. Lucas started the day with a two-shot lead, ended it with a one-shot lead, courtesy of a round of 70. Give us your assessment of your play today. Uh, yeah, I played okay. Um, you know, in one aspect, it's kind of frustrating. I could have really put the golf tournament away there and felt like I probably got too far away from the majority of the field, but 15's probably just left the door open a touch, so still going to have to really be on it tomorrow. But then also, it was, it was pretty tough out there. That back nine, the wind was swirling around and blowing quite a lot, and... Um, you know, I didn't make, didn't hit a lot of bad shots out there. I uh, just couldn't quite get some putts to fall and, yeah, felt like I played all right and just maybe just didn't get the reward for it, but um, I can't be too upset with it either. How much did those conditions examine the different aspects of the game? Yeah, well, I think it just made the golf course play quite a lot different out there. Um, hitting some different clubs into holes there and taking some different lines off tees. So, yeah, I mean, I've always been a fan of when it gets tougher. Uh, I definitely feel like that's when I play my best golf and, and, and feel like I can um, show uh, my, ta my talent off, I guess. So, yeah, I, I, was, I was happy to see the win, but then, yeah, it was, it was somewhat frustrating as well. But, um, yeah, it was good out there. Thoughts on tomorrow? Got an opportunity to win this historic championship with some fabulous names on the trophy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, just trying to stick to my own goals uh, at this point in time. I feel like I'd love to see my score get a 20 under, and that was, that was sort of the goal today and couldn't really get it there. But... Yeah, if I, can, if I can get to 20 under, I feel like it's going to be pretty hard to catch. And um, if I am caught, someone's played really good golf and they probably deserve to win it. So if I can just kind of stick to my own goals, make sure that I tick those off, then, uh, yeah, hopefully holding any trophies or anything like that sort of takes care of itself. I appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Cheers, mate. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.